Hi everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope it's sunny where you are. Welcome to my channel. Anyhow, my name is Lori and today what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and unbox the boxy charm is it upside down no it's not <laughs> okay so this is the boxy charm for this month april i did receive this a couple of days ago i also received my daughter's the day before so she got hers i got mine opened hers up i was very happy when i saw the contents of hers and then mine came the next day she was so excited grabbed it, opened it up, and she's like, mom, 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 look inside, look inside. I did. And of course, I didn't have the same enthusiasm as I did when I looked inside hers. So, you know, they are different. There's many variations. And there's one thing that you're going to learn from me if you haven't already. I don't care what variation they are. Um, and I don't mean that in a you know, in a mean manner. I just look at it as now we're able to customize one item in our monthly box, the base box. And so that's the only thing we have control over. You do take a little um, quiz when you sign up for BoxyCharm, but I'm just going to tell you right now, I have never seen anything that I have clicked on that they've paid attention to and put in my box. It's the same with Ipsy. You take a beauty quiz and, and let me just tell you right now, Ipsy, I don't know why they have it because it has nothing to do with, and Ipsy did come yesterday, but they don't, there's nothing in these monthly subscriptions, uh, little packages that has anything to do with what I picked and chose and you know, put on my little, the on the beauty quiz. So anyway, let's get back to BoxyCharm. This is their base box. They do have three tiers and that is the BoxyCharm, which is this is, this is the base. They have the Boxy Lux, which comes every three months. I also get that as well. And then they have the Boxy, the Boxy, I think it's the Premier, Premier? Deluxe, I don't, I, that might be what it is, the Boxy Charm Deluxe. So I did receive my Ipsy yesterday, which was Monday the 13th. And let me give a little shout out to my son. Happy birthday, mijo. I hope you had a wonderful day. And I love you. As I said in my little message to you yesterday, I still remember of the day we met. So like I also said, it was the day that you taught me how to be a mother and be the best mother that I can. I'm not always 100% because we make mistakes and I am human, but I hope I did my best and that you know that, feel that, and understand that. So as a parent yourself, I'm sure you do get it. Anyway, I love you. Happy birthday and to the video. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. Boxy charm base box. We've already, I wouldn't say wasted six and a half minutes, but maybe we did. Okay. This is what you do get this beautiful red box. They did change the inside of it. Oh gosh. I'm not sure when, maybe a year ago or not quite a year ago. And you get this little kind of like insulated it reminds me of what you would see in a recording studio. You know, that sound sponge that they put on the wall. Okay, that's what this reminds me of. And all it's doing is protecting the products inside your box. So let me move some stuff out of the way. I am one of those individuals that does keep a notebook of everything. Well, everything being that anything I'm trying to find out or I want answers to that I can possibly share and give back to you guys goes in this notebook and it's to me kind of like my my makeup and beauty product bible so it's where I find the answers to things I'm looking for and then pass along to you and you can take it or leave it <laughs> I don't know anyway 
this month's boxy charm is and you do get a card whoa oh something fell out this is where i get to use my trusty dusty as my mother would say they're like monkey toes but see there you go my toes just kind of picking up my feet kind of embarrassing oh well anyway Here's the little card. This is basically what fell out of it. And it seems like everybody got this. My daughter got this in her box. And this is regarding the makeup eraser. I didn't get the makeup eraser. She did. But I wasn't worried about like, hey, that's an item I want to trade with her. There's a reason why I have a lot of them. So she doesn't. She might as well try them out. I use them all the time every time I do put makeup on I use the makeup eraser to take everything off um with product so use product and then wipe it off anyway this is talking about that makeup eraser like I said and then it looks like it comes in a whole bunch of different colors yeah I can see the colors and the ones that I do have so it does come in a variety of colors and that's pretty good. That's actually cool to know. And I think it has a code on there to give you some 20% off. Use the code BOXY20. If you're not subscribed, you can still use the code. All right, here is the Boxy Charm. Their theme, their theme for April is Festival Vibes. So this is actually really pretty. I had a hard time deciphering what it was and my conclusion is a lot of makeup chipped you know out of their containers and just put kind of all over the place but it's really pretty and as you can see it does say the number and like I said I'm not interested in this maybe you are and that's okay I'm just gonna put it up close okay so you can see it uh, let's see, 31. So I have variation 31. That's the combination of different items that came inside my box. All right, there's one, two, three, four, five full products. And you get a list of them inside on this card. It's a description of the items uh, that you did receive along with the retail price. So there's also a, um, a tag, you know, like tag me to each one of these products. And that's basically what I do when I take the, the still photo of all of this stuff. And then I tag everybody in my Instagram. So there you go. Okay. Want a little peek inside? If you haven't seen my Instagram still photo, that's actually good because then that means this is going to be a surprise to you. Here are the items in my box. Hoping that didn't all fall out. <laughs> so, And then it just happened to, while I was showing you what's inside, I happened to look at the date on the bottom because I always write the date on the address, you know, the piece of paper, that the label. And I always write the date. So it came on Saturday. This one came Saturday. Hers came Friday. So, okay first item I'm going to try to go down the list and actually pull them out by what I see here so I'm going to be looking for benefit ah here we go and this one is the professional hydrate primer that retails for $32 so here we have the professional I love this cute little scuba diver this is the hydrate primer now I thought that I had this I do not I no I was mistaken and spoke too soon. I do have this. Fumble fingers here. So I did purchase this from Ulta. It's not very big. And the reason for that is because it's extremely expensive. So this one here, as I said, was $32. And I didn't, I think I paid probably, I think it was 16, to be honest with you, $16 for this size. I've only used it once. I wasn't impressed. Maybe I need to use it a few more times. So take a look at these side by side. Look at that. This is 32. This was 16. 
obviously, right? Because this one is smaller, this one's bigger. And in size, how are they? Have they doubled? One is 7.5 milliliters and the other one's 22. Of course, in the US, what this, which is the fluid ounces, one is 0.25, the other one is 0.75. So it's almost, it is almost doubled. Yeah, it, this, this one has a little bit more. So anyway, this one I did, like I said, I purchased this one at Ulta um, probably a few months back. And it was because I was looking for something to take care of and hide, well, not hide, but, you know, soften the pores. I don't like seeing, and I don't have them where, like they're in your face type, very large open pores. I do not have that, but I don't like the look of pores that go across the nose. And so it kind of bugs me. And then right here, like I said, I don't have these very large open pores. Mine are closed and they're not really in your face, so to speak. But I was looking for something that would kind of hydrate that area, soften it up. And so that's why I chose this. But I probably do need to use it more so I can tell you guys whether or not Yes, this is something that works for me. Now, let me back up and say one little thing with regards to that comment I just made. Works for me. Every product that you receive or we get, especially because this is the source of where I receive my beauty products, whether they're skincare, makeup, or tools, brushes, whatever, you know, type of things that we get, little gimmick things. Um, each one of those products that we try may not work for everybody. So when you see or you're watching a video or you're seeing reviews and somebody's posting how they feel about it there, and, and basically what it comes down to is it's an opinion. It's somebody's opinion of how a product worked for them. Your skin may not agree with it. Your skin may not like it. It may reject it. And it may be a product that is fantastic for a large number of people. So you know what? That's the way I view and look at every single thing I receive. If it works for me, that's fantastic. But I'm going to be very honest with you and let you know that. So that doesn't mean go and just toss it out the window. Maybe it will work for you. I don't know. But that's up to you to give it a try and see if maybe it does or just kind of pass. I, I hope that you will actually try it yourself. So that's basically the last, my last opinion, my last comment that I'd like to say. Try it yourself. So this one, the one I got is the Rose Garden and it is, I don't know how many pans they have in here, but it is the Rose, not Rose Garden. I said Rose Garden, Rose Golden. And this is it. And it is a very pretty packaging. It's got that sleeve. Same thing on the inside. See there? There you go. We're on to this which it does I'm gonna go that way okay so that's really pretty it does have the name see it on that plastic protector the sanitary protector and these my friends are the colors inside they are pretty aren't they these are colors that I would use on a daily basis so as you can see I do not have any makeup on right now in this video, but I'm contemplating because I am going to be putting makeup on today. So I'm contemplating whether it's going to be in a video or I'm going to do it before and then continue recording. Maybe I will use this palette. Thinking about it. Now you got me thinking. Now I got myself thinking. Huh. You know, this would be a really nice palette to do these colors here to do on, you know, on video. 
This here is $28, not a bad palette, but let's see what they have to say about it. It says this eyeshadow palette offers a range of highly pigmented and easy to blend, love that, eyeshadow shades in tempting hues of ultra glamorous makeup looks. The formulation of the eyeshadows is enriched with vitamin E. Thank you. My eyelids love vitamin E. So appreciate that. It's good to know. Okay. And this is the illuminator. I know some of you have seen this before. We have received this before. So anyhow, I have. And it is in, um, does it say? Illuminate. Oh, I already said that. It's an illuminator. Okay. And this one is $41. So it says this concentrated liquid shimmer can be added to your foundation, primer, or moisturizer. Now, I've done this with different, um, uh, with different, what is it that you call these things? illuminators I guess right you know kind of like a liquid highlighter type thing that just adds a little bit of shimmer I have put them not in my foundation or my primer I've put them in a moisturizer before I put my makeup on and they do a pretty good job but be careful which one you put and mix up and how much you put in there because all of a sudden my face looked like the bronzed um it was all metallic like the tin man and I had to really let it set and dry before I put anything else on before I did my primer and foundation. So it says, or simply use on its own for a super highlighted glow. Every drop of this super concentrated shimmer elixir glides on smoothly to bestow an ultra blendable glow. So at $41, this little guy right here with the little rubber applicator there, that little dropper that's what you're getting for $41 it is an eye brush kit or eye brush set a five brush eyeshadow set that's the best way I can think of to say it without fumbling all over the words and my tongue <laughs> it's the five piece neon eye brush collection a must-have all-in-one cruelty-free makeup brush collection that includes essential eye brushes You'll need to achieve an everyday or more dramatic look. Let's see, does it say anything on there? This is a fine liner. All right. Uh, brow groomer, like I said. Okay. And they do have the name and everything like that. Oops. You're not going to be able to see it. Or maybe you can on the brushes. It would be nice to use these little brushes in this eye palette. You know, the eyeshadow palette. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to ruin these brushes. This purple one here is, we know that's a eyeshadow. And they do, the top does kind of match. I mean, it does, best color matches the handle. Eye shading. That is a pretty blue, I, I got to say. And blue's my color. This is the tapered blending my favorite type of brush oh my god you guys if i could use a tapered blending brush to do everything on my eyes i would okay so that's the tapered blending brush and that gorgeous color and then this one here is just the pencil brush in that pretty burnt orange so and that's nice that's that one that kind of gets in there in the edge Lavish are probably going to go in a giveaway. All right. Last but not least. Oh, did I tell you how much they are? $29 and nine, $29 and 99 cents for five little brushes, $29 and 99 cents. I think they need to rethink their uh, price on that. Okay. The next one is from Baddington Lashes. It is the Harlow 3D Silk Lash with Mini Glue. And it retails at $31. So I am starting to really like putting on falsies. And you'll start noticing it in videos when I do wear makeup. But this is the Baddington. Almost kind of looks like that Hank and Henry owl. Sort of. But it's not. Thank God. And here are the lashes with the glue. 
my daughter wants these. And of course, I want her Hank and Henry. Um, little set has the little small precision sponge and then the larger sponge. I want that one that she has and she wants these lashes. I, I have a lot of lashes and she doesn't, so I'll give them to her. And then hopefully the glue works really good. But Baddington, I do have a couple of these and I really like them. So I do use the Tarte um, glue. So it's clear. Anyhow, like I said, these are $31. So I'm going to pass these on to her, trade with her, um, with those sponges from Hank and Henry. And we're both going to be happy. So anyway, that is everything that I have in my boxy charm for April. That closes everything up. So we're just going to put all this back here in this box. You know, it was not a bad box. And I see in that from a lot of people on Instagram. It was not a bad box. I'm also seeing it um, quite a bit on um, here on YouTube that it's not a bad box. Now, it's only the 14th of April and a lot of people still haven't even received their emails for their tracking numbers yet and haven't even received whether or like I said, haven't received even their box. Sometimes you don't get a tracking number. Sometimes you look outside and there it is. So people still have not received their boxes. They still haven't received their tracking number email, their email with the tracking number in it. And I do hope and pray that you guys do get them soon because it seems like it is a pretty darn good box. So with all that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. I hope you guys have a wonderful morning wherever you are in the world or a beautiful evening. So you guys stay safe, stay home. Let's do our best to do what we're being asked. And the sooner that all of us start following the rules and stay inside, do what they tell you to do, um, I think we're going to be able to start, I don't know how soon or when in the future, they're going to start opening up and, and it's kind of like a faucet. Oh, you have to open it up a little bit at a time to see the results of how, you know, how this whole virus thing is going to react if you start opening things up a little bit. So don't go rushing out there. That's not safe. It's only going to take us and bring us right back to where we started. So you guys have a wonderful afternoon. It is morning for me and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That is if you liked it, but sometimes I watch a video and I totally forget. I'll go down and leave a comment for the individual that did the video because I do do that quite a bit, but then I forget to give them a thumbs up. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I tell you, hey, don't forget Give this video a thumbs up and, and go hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. If you're new to YouTube, it does let you know when I upload a video because if you like the content on what you're seeing, I'm going to try to keep giving you something you're interested in. So you guys take care and see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Mm,